A recent expedition up Mount Baker in Washington state reveals a stark reality. The mountain's glaciers are disappearing. Even in one of the snowiest places in the U.S., seven of Mount Baker's glaciers have completely disappeared. If, if you can't sustain a glacier uh, in a place like this, then in the lower 48 states, it's not going to after decades of global warming, alpine glaciers around the world are thinning, retreating, and vanishing. As we walk across, this glacier is a kilometer wide. About every 20 meters or so, there's a little stream like this. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all summer long, you've got melt. At the rate it's losing mass, it's, it won't make it 50 years. This year's West Coast drought has exacerbated the melting. An unusually warm winter led to a record low snowpack in Washington. Because the snowpack wasn't replenished, the glaciers are losing their core mass, snow that accumulated and froze decades ago. At Shoals Glacier, scientists are keeping a close eye on the melting. So we're drilling holes for ablation stakes. They expect more mild winters, which will impact the other seasons. We've never seen such little um, area of the glacier covered by snow. These glaciers feed the Nooksack River, a key water supply for farmers in cities in the northwest corner of Washington state. The glacial runoff also helps the salmon runs the Nooksack Indian tribe has relied on for hundreds of years. 17, 5, 18, 25. In terms of water availability, I think water conservation is going to be a reality in our future. Scientists are measuring the sediment and streams of water from the runoff to collect as much information to help plan for a future without glacier water. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.